this year, you were elected president of an incredible global organization. And it's a turn for Toastmasters because you are the first president outside the United States. Mm -hmm. Is this a strategic decision of Toastmasters or the result of globalization? Uh, first of all, I wanted to clarify that I am not the first president outside of the United States. There have been several, from the Philippines, from Australia, from the UK. So there has been other presidents from other places. And the beauty of Toastmasters is the fact that it's an election where the members elect the most qualified. So there is nothing that would say they would look at where are you from and... and uh, what is your background uh, in terms of, of history of where you have lived and so on. It's basically the election revolves uh, around who is most qualified to run the organization. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's how it is, I, I believe. It, it was shown in different websites, like it was a change in direction, so it's not. Well, probably it was advertised as the first Arab, the first Muslim, who has been uh, within presidency of the Toastmasters International. Okay. But that only shows that we are becoming international. Yeah. And, and we are looking at each and every place around the globe equally if there are opportunities. Very good. Um, in your visit to Canada, your centered goal has been to present to us your leadership conviction. Is this something that you also want to leave in your term during this year? Is that something that is your particular objective for your term? My objective is to be able to say that I have set a trend which has been created by my predecessors, mm -hmm. been able to fortify it, and five, five years down the line I go and look back and I see that each and every year Toastmasters is developing and is going towards its vision and mission. Mm -hmm. So, what are your brief definition of leadership? You challenged us yesterday to have our own definition. Right. Now I'm challenging you, which is your definition of leadership? I believe leadership is originality. Leadership is you being able to understand what's your definition of leadership and be able to convey it with orig originality. Uh -huh. You need to have this inner understanding of leadership uh -huh. and therefore being conveyed to the people whom look up to you. And what's yours? Originality. Being original. That's being you. original. So it goes within originality you have humility, you have uh, a sense of understanding, caring, there's a whole lot of things, but I think originality more encompasses what I believe leadership Finding is. Finding out your person within and then showing it yes. to the world. And you have amazing business. You're a businessman. Mm -hmm. How this position is going to affect your management of your business? Uh, it's basically time management. We all have 24 hours a day, and if you allocate certain number of days, certain number of hours within the day to whatever you want to do, I believe it's, it's possible. There is nothing which would say, I mean, if I look at myself and, and those uh, stalwarts of business like uh, Steve Jobs or mm -hmm. uh, Larry Ellison or any of these big uh, multinationals and all this, uh, if, if they could do it, then I could. Definitely. Absolutely. And your family, is your family aware of the incredible effect you have on people when you're speaking in public? They are very aware because they are following me on YouTube, uh, on Facebook, and they, they talk to me about it. So they are aware and they are very appreciative and they are very supportive of what I'm doing. You have two daughters? I have two daughters, yes. Are they public speakers? They are not within Toastmasters, but um, my older daughter has participated in emceeing a lot of her corporate events, and she, has, uh, she is one of the leadership uh, graduates for the sports in our city. Right. So they have taken up leadership positions within their own environment. So what would be your three main goals as president of the global 90-year-old Toastmasters? I believe it's making sure organization, district, and members 
are well off for the next decade or two until there is people who would be able to take up whatever we have built and go forward. Very good. And in brief, how was your tour through Alberta? Well, I wouldn't say it's a tour because we were working all the time, but I mean, it, it, yeah, it's very, enjoy yeah, it's very yeah. enjoyable. The people of Calgary are very hospitable. Uh, I have seen snow for the first time in my life. And you were uh, in Edmonton, the capital? Yeah, and it was very interesting. So very you, interesting. you've seen the snow for the first time in your life? First time well, in my I'm life. Well, I'm so happy we had that present for you. Well, thank you for <laughs> having it for me. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for your visit. It was excellent to, to hear you mm -hmm. all throughout. I am a new member of Toastmasters, and I'm very um, glad and thankful that you gave me this moment to, to talk to you and share it with our, our members. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Thank you.